Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan back here with another Grounded video. In this little video, we're just going to go over five little tips that you may or may not already know. Some of them are really interesting and some of them are just kind of more, uh, just informative. So let's get to it. First one we're going to do is, uh, the backyard's pretty big now and it's only getting bigger with each and every update. One of the things that, uh, that I often do is get lost. Even though we have the map, I may come across something on the map that I want to go, uh, revisit or if I'm just not ready to, uh, to get into yet. So what I'll do is if I get somewhere, we have the trail markers. One of the things, say I don't have the uh, stuff to do the trail marker. One of the things you can do is just put a trail marker like that, ready for, uh, for construction. And that way, so if you're headed back to that area and you're not exactly sure where uh, the exact area you're trying to get to is, you have your trail marker here. Now it's not gonna show up on your map or anything like that. But it is something uh, useful just so if you're back in the area and you're looking for one particular place to get to. That way, instead of building a trail marker and then having to recycle it later, uh, you can just do that and then uh, get rid of it when you're done. The next thing we're going to cover is uh, one that a lot of people probably know. So this is more towards uh, beginners. And it covers the food. So you see I've got uh, six roasting spits here, all with food on them. And they've all had food on them for quite a while now. Mainly, I'll just come out and swap one or two uh, pieces out eat it and then throw another one on there but as you can see here we can take these off i think these have been on here for the for a while now so we're gonna go ahead and take two of these pieces off throw these two on here and you can see that these two pieces of meat right here aphid roast and weevil roast have not spoiled whatsoever now a lot of people have said that uh in older games since the update this doesn't work but I've never had one issue since the Hot and Hazy update. This is a new game that I started. And the uh, for now, for the time being, until it gets patched, the uh, roast that you put on the roasting spit will not spoil. Mm. So another useful piece not of information bad. there. We're going to go over here towards the orb weavers. One other thing. If you've been playing the game for a while now and uh, didn't know the ins and outs of the uh, UI and stuff like that, like what buttons do which... Because I really don't use them. Um, once I got into the game and realized how to play it and everything like that, I didn't really pay attention to everything else. One issue I did run into, though, was running out of uh, storage space. And I got tired of just building more chests just to throw a bunch of resources in there that I'm not going to use. So one thing you can actually do is if you click on something and if you right-click on it, you've got the ability to drop one, drop a stack, or in this case with the roast, consume. Or you can trash one and trash the stack. So one of the things that I keep running into is killing a ton of spiders and just keep getting the spider parts. So instead of just uh, throwing them in a storage chest that I'm not going to use ever again, you go in there and go ahead and uh, click here and just trash the stack and it'll get rid of it for good. That way you're not carrying around a bunch of unwanted resources. Just something for, uh, for the people out there that try to keep their uh, storage resource gathering and everything uh, a little bit cleaner. So... Another little tip here that I was uh, that was brought to my attention recently on a stream was you can see what weapon I have right here, right, equipped. Black Ant Sword, level 7 Mighty. Not spicy, not salty, not uh, fresh or anything like that. So if you have a Black Ant Sword and it's just down the Mighty Path or if it's not upgraded past level 5 at all, you can use the Black Ant Sword to cut down resources. So I was a little skeptical when I was told this first, and this comes out to comes from uh, one of our viewers, uh, Rags to Riches. So shout out to him for telling me this. So what you're gonna do, you come up here, and it's gonna tell you you need a chopping tool, right? Well, if you come up here and you hold your attack button, which is gonna do a charged attack, you'll see it'll cut. See that? And we cut down a, uh, a dandelion right there with the black ant sword. Now again, you come up here and just try to do this, it's not going to work. And if you have a salty, fresh, or uh, spicy uh, upgraded weapon, it's not going to work. It's only going to work whether you have Mighty or if it's only upgraded to level 5. And it will chop. And it works on clovers. It works on grass planks. It works on everything that you can normally only use a, a cut or a chopping weapon for, like a dagger or the axe here. And it uh, will do the exact same thing. So shout outs to Rags to Riches for that little tip there. Really useful. Um, what he recommended was using the Black Ant Sword and obviously just keeping Blade Master on when he's out resource gathering. That way his sword won't take, uh, the durability won't take too much of a hit. So one other thing, last one here that we're going to cover is with the Orb Weavers. Now they're pretty annoying. 
And one of the things that I was doing when I was making my uh, Grenadier class build was I needed a ton of web fiber. And going around and trying to kill them and collect it all was kind of being a pain in the butt. So one of the things that I figured out is that you can actually block their web shots and deflect it. And their web will just go uh, somewhere else. So we'll see right here. Well, he got me with that one, but we're going to go ahead and head up here. If we can get up here. There we go. Hopefully he shoots another one. We'll be able to show you guys. Alright, let's try to reset them. See if we can't get them to do it again. You see that? We deflected it and the web went everywhere else. Let's see if we can get them to do it again. Yep, blocked it and it went over there. Blocked at that time, but it didn't go, uh, didn't get deflected. So instead of just killing them and getting uh, three to four web fibers a piece, you can actually deflect their web shots. And you see here we've got one, two, three, four, five, looks like six different web fibers right there. So if you need a lot of web fiber, see so just like that, deflect it, and it'll go all around you and spread out and you get a lot more web fiber that way. So just some interesting little things to help you guys out in the backyard while you're out there adventuring, collecting resources, and all that other kind of jazz. So, you guys have any other tips or tricks or anything like that? Let me know in the comments below. We'll go ahead and throw them into a future video so we can spread the word to everybody else so we can make this game more enjoyable for everyone else. So, that's all we got for this video, guys. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.